Say hello. Say hello. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Katrina Stack. I hope you guys are doing well. So today I'm going to be showing you guys the farm, um, a farm tour. So what my life is like every day and how the farm is. And I'm starting off in Jackie's backyard. As you guys can see, this is like her chicken area. We have all of our chickens over here because at the farm they made a mess. And over there, right there, is my farm. So we have eight acres here, which I'm gonna take you guys through this pasture first, and then the goat pasture, and then make our way over to the farm. So come on, let's go. Also, before I take you guys to the farm tour, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and drop me some comments. Come on, let's go. All right, go. guys, so I'm about to take you guys through the chicken pasture. Well, the chickens, ducks, peacocks. We actually have four peacocks here. Um, Polish chickens, literally every single kind of bird you can kind of imagine. If you look around, we have guineas over there, the ducks, but we have about 60 chickens here, three ducks for sure, and then a lot more coming. But let's go and I'll show you guys around. <laughs> All right, guys, this is one of our friendliest Polish chickens. He's so friendly and he loves to be held. Literally, you could take him everywhere. He just likes to be, he's like a dog. You know how I hold Benelli all the time? Like I can hold him and just walk around. So as you guys could see, we have all of them in here. They have smaller eggs and I actually believe that their eggs are better. Tastes better than the normal chicken eggs. What? I'm gonna do a little video for you guys in here so you guys can see. And here we just have a little bit of baby chickens. Some peacock, there's two peacocks and then the others are chickens. And then another chicken down there. But we literally are in the chicken yard. Here we have the other two bigger peacocks. We actually put them in here during the nighttime so they don't get eaten by anything. And then during the day, we let them out. So if you go through this way, you can come over here. If you go through this way, we are going to let all the chickens out and the ducks. Look how cute they are. So we used to have the chickens and ducks and stuff at the farm, but they made a mess. They would poop all over the walls. The ducks would play and then the guineas would attack. It was just crazy and hectic. And we already have enough animals at the farm. So we figured we'd put all the stuff, or the birds, over in this area. But if we go to this pen, we'll let them out of over here. I think there's only one in there. And we, there's no one in there? One. Oh. <laughs> there's only one. But um, we probably get, we have 60 chickens. And we get probably 20 to 30 eggs a day. So, and then let's walk over here. And we'll let these guys out. we had them at the farm um we had the chickens and stuff at the farm the chickens and ducks and guineas we actually had oh look who's coming to visit me my creamy we actually put kramer in here because like i said he was sick if you guys have been watching my videos um we put him over here because we don't know what was wrong with him but i will take you guys to the goat pasture as well but back to what i was saying with the chickens um we have a fox problem over at the farm and it was really hard to control the fox eating the chickens and ducks so that's just why we have them over here at jackie's but let's go to the goat pasture say hello the goat pasture zeus is gonna harass me but let's try to break away and get out of the goat pasture and say goodbye to them so i don't get pumped by him but over here so, I'm jumping the fence. <laughs> okay, that was good. All right, I'm too. <laughs> He's so stinky. So over here, we have another pasture that we just got this cleared. We have three horses in it. And this is, during the day, we have Droopy, which is our older pony. Texas, our other, like he's, I think he's 10 years old. I could have to look back. And then we have Doc. But they hang out here during the day. Um, just because if they're on grass, they are so fat. If they were to sit on grass all day, they'd probably founder, knock on wood. Just because they're fat ponies. So we keep them on Tifton Vale. And they're like, it's shaded over here in this pasture. And then as if you guys can see over that way, I'll show you the little. This is where my property line cuts over there to Jackie's. So me, like I said, this is Jackie. Jackie, say hello. Hi. Me and Jackie share property. Well, she has eight acres, I have six, and then we have another six over there, but we are going to take you through a tour of it. So just come along. Over here we have Droopy, yes, Ducky, and then we have Texas over here. I don't know, what is he doing? Texas, what are you eating? What are you doing? Actually, this horse is like so personable. We don't know what he's doing. What you doing, bud? 
you need to get clipped. Look how his winter coat's coming. Oh my gosh. He's always one of the first to get clipped. But I guess he's just playing in the dirt. Ew. But as you can see, he's a little chunky thing. So we like to keep him over here during the day in the shaded area because like I said, his winter coat's super thick. And this is a very shaded pasture. And um, there's little Doc. The reason why we have this on Doc is because Doc likes to jump fences. This horse will clear every fence. I'll add a little clip of him jumping a fence for you guys so you guys can see how crazy this horse is. I've added it before to other videos, but I will show you guys it one more time why we have this weight on him. Because if not, it's pretty dangerous not to because he can jump pastures and then end up where he's not supposed to. And I think he's going to pee. So you guys can see a horse pee. <laughs> so guys, through this pasture, we walk into the ring. Um, I'm going to fix a jump because the horses come in here all the time and they come and knock the jumps over. But we have this big ring here. I'll show you guys. It has, oh, not in front of the tree. <laughs> um, it's usually dragged, but it's not dragged today. But we have a cute little jumping course and over here, I'll describe the pastures. Just let's walk along and I will show you. So right now, this is pasture, what is this? Pasture six. Um, and this is my horse, Spirit. He goes in here during the day with Bam, little Bammy. They came on the same dirty load. I'm going to do a new introduction video to all my horses again, so you guys can be updated with what's been going on. But if you walk this way, let's walk into the barn. But like I said, at nighttime, they get turned in at a stall. But during the day, they go out and pasture five and six and have a Larson's block and hay, um, or fresh grass, hay, all that stuff. So, but at nighttime, they get turned in together. So right here, we have our round pen. Our round pen connects to the ring. And obviously, it has an entrance closer to the farm. Um, but this is our little gated in area where everyone kind of hangs out. Um, as you guys can see, we're painting the fencing black at the farm. And we kind of started here, but we haven't finished. If you want to show them here. Um, but like I said, the round pen connects to the ring. And if we walk this way, we are still making our way to the barn. So guys, we have made it. Let's walk through the barn. Um, believe it or not, we actually just laid these, pav laid these pavers. Me, Jackie, um, Angelica, and Suzanne. It took us a fun day. So if you walk this way, I will show you the barn. I turned the fans off so it wouldn't be so loud. But we have four stalls in the barn. They are 15 by 12, as you can come in here. We have Kojak in this stall. Um, this is my feral bread. Come on, baby, show your pretty face. Say no. And then over here, we have Henry, my yearling. Actually, he's 14 months now. He is my big baby. He's Little Bit's baby. I've always talked about him. But he is massive, guys. Like, check this out. We have to use this because he's very intelligent because he will unlock any gate. But look how big. I am 5'11". Look how tall this horse is. Say, I'm a big baby. He's supposed to stay at 19 hands, so we will find out if that's true. So stay tuned for the next four years. But in here we have um, our little shed that everyone just throws things in. And then our hay room. Our hay delivery is coming today. But in the barn we have four stalls. Um, two of them are oversized stalls because I have bigger horses. So when I built the barn, I made the stalls large so they can be comfortable. And then these stalls are 11 feet by 12. Um, and then we have two run-out stalls. Back here, if I'm walking, I'll kind of describe everything. This is one of our feed sheds. This is the borders feed shed. We come in here. It's just like some feed bins. I'll give you a little video clip. Some instructions on what to do, some feed bins. And we have two of these at the barn. And then over here, we have... These are two stalls, they used to be stalls, but then we ended up just putting our side-by-sides in here because like I said, the horses prefer to be outside. Well, some horses like the stalls and some don't, but we have this little pen over here. So if we ever get any animals that we need to put in, we have this pen, we have that pen, which eventually I'll make a stall. And then over here, I'll show you the runout stalls. Okay, so in here we still have hay storage. We are not using this stall right now, but if you walk through here, the runouts are pretty cool. Um, like I said, Spirit and Bam get turned out at night and they go in this stall. Um, and then this pasture, we are just seeding it, but it's actually probably ready for horses to come on it. But these stalls are, I built the barns where these stalls can run out, so it's easier to turn horses out. But this is pasture number two. So we have pasture one, two, and then they go three, four, five, six. And we'll make our way up there and I'll show you, but 
let's continue the farm tour. So, so we had made our way through the pastures, the inside of the barn to, we have a little fire pit area. Um, as you guys can see our two cats, but Toulouse and Tilly, they have such a rough life, guys. I don't know how they do it, but this is a cover to a side-by-side. -side. Usually it's benches, but this is Toulouse and Tilly. And then if you walk over here, we have our little hanging out, our hangout area. Um, at nighttime, it's super cute. It's lit up. And then we all hang out here um, just to talk. We call it like the girls' hangout area. And then in here, we have a full bathroom. Um, has a shower, toilet, obviously, and a sink. But it's, it's super adorable. And then over through here, and I have fans, obviously, because it gets very hot. Um, to the left is the other feed feed room. Um, that's for my guys. And <clears throat> if we walk in here, I will show you guys the tiny house, a.k.a. the she shed. So in here, we have the she shed. Um, it's insulated. It has a refrigerator, a sink. The couches, a table, TV, if you want to walk in and you can just zoom around. Some of the boarders keep their tack in here. So this is kind of like a tack room as well. We haven't really hung up fixtures because like it's been about a month since we insulated it and got it painted. Um, but if your horse ever gets sick, knock on wood, you can stay the night here or you have to tend to your horse. And you know, we like to just hang out here because it's nice and cool during the Florida heat. Obviously it gets super hot, but um, it's just a nice little area. I mean, you could literally live here if you needed to. But let's go this way and I will show you guys the pastures and you'll meet some more horses and we'll give you more of a tour. Okay. okay. So walking through this gate, I call this pasture number eight because this is a center pasture. Um, it is where some of the horses get turned out at night. But like I said, we have to rest the pastures. We probably will have horses on them for two months and then rest them for two months. But I will describe the farm a little bit for you guys. So up here is the top pasture. It goes pasture one, two, and those are currently being seeded and rested. And then it goes three, four, five, and six, and then the ring, and then seven and eight. So if we come this way, I'll show you guys some of my horses and some of the other horses that are here. But um, this pasture is about to rest because we're rolling up into the winter time. So we'll rest this pasture and then next year, because we can't really see during the winter time and Gainesville gets pretty cold and we have the grass frost and everything, but it'll be super high lush grass and you have to seed every year um, for about, what is it, a solid three months seeding a lot of work and believe it or not I do all the seating and all that and I actually enjoy it it's a lot of fun and I'm pretty good at it <laughs> so what I really like about this pasture that connects to this one is we have a little sneak away through but believe it or not my little miniature horse Bam Bam he like sneaks his way through here whenever he's in this pasture but let's go through here and we have horses coming to visit us now these horses are on a dirt pasture only because sassy can't permanently be turned out on grass because if you'll see her she looks pregnant and um so we have them out here during the day and then at night time we let them graze in the center pasture but this is Leia this is one of um pretty much my second mom third mom I have like so many moms here at the farm Suzanne this is her baby so technically we're sisters <laughs> um and then Sassy this is the horse Sassy that you guys are about to meet like I said this is a dirt pasture because old Chunker can't be on grass 24 7 because if she was, you know what that means. She's a little chunky, but she's healthy. We like to say she's healthy. And let's go this way. I'll show you guys my Clyde still and my quarter horse. Guys, this is my other quarter horse, Ranger. Um, I love him. He's such a good boy. He's actually just healing over a summer sore right now. Um, and then this is a little bit. Let me see if I can bring it through you guys. Never walk behind a horse's butt, by the way. But I know my horses pretty well. They would never kick me. But there are some horses that would but he would never. This is Little. I've had her since she was three years old. She's six and a half. Say we've had one baby, which is Henry in the stalls. And then she is actually due February 17th with her second baby by the same father. As you guys can see me over here, <laughs> she's massive. She's 18 two hands. And like I said, her baby's supposed to stand at 19, which is crazy because the dad was only 14 hands. Um, I wish I would have purchased him. We regret it all the time that we don't own him but she is a big elephant. Watch this, I'll show you guys how cool. See if I can jump down real quick. She'll let me get on her, and she's only six and a half years old, so she's pretty good, and she's pretty lazy, but she's a big baby, and she is like the best. This is my only mare that I own, but I can never imagine owning another mare. She's literally the sweetest baby girl you will ever encounter, ever. She's like an elephant. So, well guys, 
as you guys can see, she's a good mama and she's my baby. <laughs> Let me show you guys a really cool video. I just did this earlier on her, but look how good my horse is. I can literally mount her from the fence and she doesn't do anything. So see, I'm just a big sweet mama. <sighs> yeah, you are. She is literally a couch and she helps me get down. Little, how did I do? How did I get to own you? How do I deserve you? She's perfect. So guys, you kind of saw the farm and how cute it is and everything. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and give me some ideas of what else would you guys like to see. As you guys can see, we're at the, this is actually, believe it or not, the front entrance of the farm. So, but we use the back entrance because when I originally bought this property, I was thinking that I was gonna build a house right here, but it's in the works in the next couple years. But um, I literally just bought this property for my horses and to have my own farm because it is my dream and I'm making it happen. So guys, you have asked me why I started this farm and how I started it. Um, I started it three years ago. I bought this property that was six acres. It literally just had a well and it was just the outer perimeters of the property was fenced in. So as you guys can see through this whole video, I've done all the work here by myself. Um, if that, if that even includes doing the fences and um, building the barn, coming up with all the ideas because I really had no plan. I kind of just winged the whole thing the whole entire time. Um, Jackie's coming in here. She just filmed me. But yeah, it's super cool. It was a lot of work and it's been about three years, August 11th, 2017 when it is when I purchased the property and then every single month sorry I'm super hot every single month I've been adding on and building things and we've pretty much had the same like I don't really take in borders but um people that do board here are like family friends and we just are literally we call it the farm fam but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like I said if you guys have any questions comments or anything just ask them in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video